I'm also doing this video, and forgive my voice, I sang in a rock concert last night um, to show you specifically why this piece is very, um, how do I say, uh, I don't know, specific, specifically about a specific. There's very minor details uh, that a collector would truly appreciate. Um, and the other note I want to give you is that because all these cars have gone through the art installation, it actually gives them more value. I have all the backing, original backing boards of about 90% of the cars, not the ones from 25 years ago, but like, because some of those backing boards were lost in a fire. Um, but like, I would say that 90% to 95% of the cars, I have the original packaging and that I would also, that would also be included. Um, but I'm going to zoom in or push in a little bit. This area of Gotham City is a public service. You can see fire trucks, rescue trucks, bus, garbage, etc. Um, waste management. Um, in various parts of the installation, there are what's called launch pads, which is you press the button and the car is launched, as you can see. You know, um, I'm not going to show that right now because I, you know I can't get back there. But if in a true installation, it would be surrounded uh, from all sides, or it wouldn't be surrounded by any walls, it would stand in the center of the room so they could be quote unquote played with by just about any part of the piece. Um, we have here cars numbered one, two, three, four, etc. like a race, like they're going to a race, as you can see, like, a, you know, to see who's best. Um, this is the beginning of the uh, garage that you just saw that, you know, goes in multiple circles around and then exits through here. Sometimes the cars flip. I put a little uh, sort of uh, hazard there so that it do, they don't. So it's not a perfect uh, run every time. They could actually crash into each other or cause each other to crash. Makes them more fun. Um, here's a hazard there, and then of course some cars, the really good ones. I forgot to take those when I shot the video, but like sometimes they go all around and they end up in the in the alligator. But as you can see, I have. A dinosaur that's about to chomp on an atomic bomb. Right above, you have the Top Gun uh, airplanes, both 1986-2022. Um, you have Marty McFly and Michael Knight getting ready to time travel. As you can see, like the there's a little like um, well, I just Marty's got his thing. Get, get, he's ready to he's ready to time travel. Uh, you have let me sneak back here. The Bat Cave. There's various Bat Batman, uh, Batmobiles. You have the airport, and all those gun, all those cars are from Fast and Furious. Sorry, Fast and Furious and Top Gun. Not just the uh, the airplanes, but the actual cars used in the movie. If you look closely, there you have your your uh, uh, your garage of cars that have uh, the fire, the fire paints. Um, you have sort of the old Model T's, etc. here in this garage, and then this Gotham, Gotham City. My mom actually did the artwork that says Gotham City. <laughs> she has better handwriting than I do. Here you have Joker, Harley Quinn, the Riddler, Penguin. They're all getting ready to follow the, 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 the uh, money trucks. They're waiting for the, the chaos to happen with this... Uh, traffic going on so they're just behind getting ready to commit some crimes but there's batman ready to come out and you know he can either go into the back into the back cave or he can intercept the bad guys um in there you have like very there's another garage various hot uh, mustangs and then you have another section that's all james bond cars um and you know various assortments the police station is up here all of these cars are cops except for these, they're getting ready to race. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Oh, you know what? Scooby-Doo and Mr. Bean. There's the mystery machine and Mr. Bean following Batman. And, and uh, now the Catwoman's, she's good now. So um, she's hanging out with, with Bruce Wayne. And then, you know, here are some more Batmobiles. The one from the last movie, the one from the TV show. And I like this, this one, uh, I like there it is this one's like really pop my mom she that's her favorite car and i just thought i would put it there um but it's actually my most valuable one because as you can see the the back tail fins were 
were broken and I glued them back in and that just goes to show just goes to prove that these were played with um so they're like original versus you know fakes and it makes them more valuable to collectors believe it or not I used to think the opposite but no they actually want toys that were played with because it reminds them of having played with it everything's emotional you know even art like installations um and personal Oh, and here, you didn't even get to see this. Uh, let's see, is it ready to go? Yeah, might as well. Who's going to win of these four? Are you... Oh, gold wins, yay!